Hello, Cancer, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today we're going to do a person on your mind reading. Let's talk about this person you're thinking about the most, shall we, Cancer? Let's see what you want from this connection. Let's find out what they want from this connection. We'll see how they're feeling about you in the present moment and what you can expect in the near future. Whoa, Shiznik. The Grim Reaper. Relationship is over. Second chances. No second chances. You're growing and transforming your life. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. In Cancer, to celebrate this new channel, I am doing a September sweepstakes. So if you want to enter the sweepstakes, it's just me giving away a bunch of free readings. Um, just like, comment below, subscribe to my new channel, help it grow, help it get on the map. <laughs> I appreciate that. And to say thank you, I'll be giving you guys some free readings. So you know what to do if you want to enter that contest. Just get yourself entered. Let's get into your reading. The Eight of Pentacles is what you want. What they want is the Page of Swords. Their feelings are the Page of Pentacles and their actions are the Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, could be dealing with an Earth sign, Je Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm, this is interesting, Cancer. Let's discuss this. The Eight of Pentacles is what you want. So what does this mean? What does this mean for Cancer? What is the Eight of Pentacles energy here? What does Cancer want from this person on their mind? From this situation here? You just want to be happy. Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You want a fresh start. Um... I feel like you might be focusing on work, maybe focusing on yourself. The Eight of Pentacles in the Sun is self-growth, self-tenderness, uh, self-development, you know, learning lessons, seeing the value of this experience, just focusing on you and your life and um, kind of letting your heart heal. The Three of Swords is an energy of healing. So there is some sorrow. There is some sadness. I do feel you're ending this relationship with this person or coming out of it. Um, and this is just about a fresh start, a new beginning. And again, I just feel like you don't, I feel like you don't want anything with this person here, Cancer, whoever we've connected to through here. Um, I feel like you just want to heal, focus on yourself, and give yourself the opportunity to um, heal and find someone new. The Page of Swords is there. What they want from this connection, uh, they just want to spy on you. So <laughs> they could be looking at old photos, admiring your beauty or your attractiveness, your handsomeness if you're a dude. Um, but with the Page of Swords, I feel like they just want to kind of watch from you, learn as well. Um, is there anything else you want to say about this Page of Swords, about what this person wants from this connection here? Yep, no, that's all. That's it. Ten of Cups. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they, ooh, they actually want to know if you're finding someone new. <laughs> so they're spying on you to see if you've moved past them, um, to see if you're happy without them, or to see if you found someone new here, Cancer. Now, the Page of Pentacles are their feelings for you, which tells me that they feel like you're kind of manifesting someone new, moving in a different direction, creating things. So they think you're an earth magician, you know, someone who makes things happen in their life, someone who doesn't settle. What else do you want to say about their feelings here? Yeah, the sun... Someone who focuses on your and your happiness, your growth, your development. This has, you know, a master manifestor written all over it. The moon, very intuitive. <laughs> um, but the sun and the moon, wow, they consider you, they see you in a really high light. Did you, are you the one that ended this? Because with the moon and the sun, this is the divine feminine and masculine. They see you as very balanced, very grounded, um, and just looking for someone more suitable for you. And they see you as letting this go and moving forward. They don't even think they have a chance with you here, Cancer. Um, but they see you in a very high regard, very balanced, uh, which is a beautiful energy. The sun and the moon is the divine feminine and energy mask, you know, energies within yourself, which means you've done a lot of self-development and growth within you, which is a beautiful thing. Um, now their actions are to do nothing. Their actions are the four swords and the ten of cups. So their actions are, I feel like the ten of cups is partly wondering if you're happy without them, but I feel like they're just kind of pulling themselves back and working on their own happiness um, and trying to create something stable in their life. With the four swords there, I don't even feel you're going to hear from this person. Um, and I kind of feel like that's what they think you want is not to hear from them. So that's what's going on. So I'm sorry you're ending this relationship, but I do know that everything happens for a reason. And that means that there's someone better out there for you here, Cancer. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we'll get back to the tarot and we'll see where you are in a month and how are things progressing for you. Spirit so guys, what does Cancer need to surrender to when it comes to this connection, this person on their mind, or just love? Defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. So to communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Okay. And the lesson that Cancer is learning from this person here. Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this reality. You absolutely can. You're definitely an earth angel, earth magician here. You can make things happen, baby. 
Okay, let's get your energy oracle message. Let's see what they want to say here, spirit guides. What's the energy oracle message here for cancer to help with this, you know, this transition in their life here? What do you want to say? Hostilities. Okay. When one comes out of the deck, the message is in the book. So let me get this for you. Hold on here. This card shows a man raising his sword in readiness to do battle. When it comes upright, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be or have already been engaged. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding, or hurtful. In a work or social situation, there could be backstabbing or out-and-out -out slander. This is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent or more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time. Whether this is new or old energy, this is the time to regain control. Allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It might feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. Okay, Cancer, let's get your potential outcome. So when I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? Are you still talking to this person? Is there a rekindling? Are you just moving forward? You stand single? You meet someone new? Let's talk about you. Let's see where you are in a month. Spirit guides, what do you want to say about Cancer, baby? What do you want to say? The sun. Well, you're pretty happy. <laughs> we got the sun. We got the page of pentacles again. Okay. What else we got here for Cancer? We got the King of Swords. We could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got the Hierophant. Okay, we could be dealing with a Taurus. Let's see what this means. One more card here. Four Cups in Reverse. The King of Pentacles. The Temperance. Well, I'm going to tell you, Cancer, single life isn't so bad for you. So you're just focusing on yourself, shooting the shit, hanging out with your friends, your family, your kids, your fur babies, going to the motherfucking dog park if that's what you want to do. Um, you're just enjoying yourself, focusing on yourself, living life for you. I'm hearing that, <laughs> hearing that song. I think, I think it's Draw Rule where it's like living it up. I think it's Draw Rule from like the 90s or early 2000s, but that's the song I'm hearing. So you're just living it up, having a great time, enjoying yourself. You have options here in the next month, but you got two kings, not just any kind of options. You got the king of pentacles here. You got a boss energy. You got the king of swords energy, someone who's in control. Um, and you got the four cups in reverse, which means there's self-love. The four cups in reverse is taking action, but it's self-love. It's doing what's best for you. You have two people who want a relationship with you. <laughs> They're offering things on the table. Now, it very well could be somebody from your past. It could be this person on your mind, or it could be somebody new. Um, I didn't see any kings before, so... The Queen of Cups, there's you, and there's the Three of Wands. Damn, everybody wants you here at Kansa. So like I said, single life is treating you well. Um, you have options in the next in the next month. So you have a King of Pentacles, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If they're not those signs, they disembody those traits. So this one's highly intelligent, a little bit guarded. You know, they're not the most affectionate or the most lovey-dovey, um, a little bit more emotionally guarded. And you have the King of Pentacles, which is a boss. So very grounded, very stable, very protective of those that he loves. He moves slowly, but he's also quite loyal. So you have options and offers on the table, Kansa. Um, and they want relationship. This isn't just people playing games or wanting a good time and to come and go from your life. They both are looking at relationship opportunity. I kind of feel like they know about each other because they're looking at each other. <laughs> this guy's looking at him and he's kind of looking here. So I just, or maybe this King of Pentacles knows about the King of Swords. Maybe this is a past person, but whatever the energy is, Cancer the options in the future and that's where you are in a month so you have options on the table you're living life you're just living it up having a great time and it is attracting people to your energy you have options here in the next month so so cancer that's what i got that's what's going down that's what's taking place if you like my style if you like this new channel if you like your reading i do ask that you like comment subscribe get yourself entered into that september sweepstakes make sure your notifications are on so that you know that you won i do not have a community section on this channel I can't post the winners there. <laughs> I can only reply to your comments. So make sure that you know that you won. Last thing we want is winners with no, uh, not claiming your readings. That's fucking stupid. So cancer, that's what I got. That's what's going down. So let's close your reading with the yes or no question today. Spirit guides, yes or no? That's the answer. No, that's what I got, baby. Cancer, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.